Okay, so I want to take a look at using the formula density equals mass over volume. It sort of looks like a heart. That's how some people remember it. They remember that it looks kind of like if I draw a heart with a line through it, there's the mass, there's the volume. You know, whatever, whatever that, uh, if that works, if that helps you remember it, that's great. So we've done some calculations where you calculated the density. If I give you the mass and volume, for example, let's say I say uh, that we're going to calculate the density of a piece of glass that has a mass of 27.21 grams and a volume of 3.8 milliliters. What's the density? Okay, so I put in my values for mass, 27.21 grams, and my volume, 3.8 milliliters, and I do my calculation in my calculator, and I get 7.16. Now, the units, this is something that people have asked, uh, what do I do about the units? Well, because I can't cancel any units here, I have to keep them both. And so my units are grams over milliliters, or the way we read this is grams per milliliter. What it means is that this glass, in this case, uh, one gram of the stuff, I'm sorry, 7.16 grams of the stuff, will have a volume of one milliliter. It's 7.16 grams for every one milliliter of stuff. So that's what density means. Now, we can use density, if we know the density of a substance, to actually calculate one of those other two values. If you remember, that density is equal to mass over volume. And let's say that we know the density, and we know the mass, but we want to find the volume. So to go back to algebra a little bit, if I want to get V by itself, the first thing I can do is multiply both sides by V. That will cancel the Vs out on this side. And I'll get V times density is equal to mass. Now, if I want to get V by itself, then I have to divide both sides by density. And so I get volume is equal to mass over density. Okay, So I can now use this relationship to solve problems for volume. So for example, if volume is equal to mass over density, let's say that I want to calculate the volume of a 500 gram cube of gold metal. And gold has a density of 19.3 milliliters, grams per milliliter. So I want to find the volume. I know that I have 500 grams. I'm going to make this 500.0 grams of gold. And the density of gold is 19.3 grams per milliliter. Now the grams will cancel because they're both on the top of each of these two fractions. So it's on the top of this fraction, it's on the top of the whole fraction. So they'll cancel and the units will work themselves out so that it ends up being milliliters or cubic centimeters, which is the same thing. So if we put into our calculator 500 divided by 19.3, we get 25.91. 25.91. And that's milliliters, or you can say 25.91 cubic centimeters. A milliliter is exactly the same volume as a cubic centimeter. So they're equal. Those two are equal. This is a good relationship to remember. Okay? Now, what if I want to solve for mass? So let's go back to our main formula. Density is equal to mass over volume, and I want to get mass by itself. So again, I'm going to multiply both sides by V to get Vs out of there. Okay? And that gives me now mass by itself. And mass is equal to density times volume. So again, I need the density. If I have the density and the volume, I can calculate the mass. All right, so let's do an example. If mass is equal to density times volume, let's say we want to know uh, what's the mass of a piece of lead that has a volume of 250 cubic centimeters. Okay, so the mass is what I'm looking for. The density of lead is 11.3 grams per milliliter or grams per cubic centimeter and my volume is 250 I'll make it for 250.0 uh, cubic centimeters okay so those will cancel out there so all I have to do is in my calculator type 11.3 times 250.0 and I get the mass is 2825 grams or 
kilograms. There's a little metric conversion from our one of our last videos. Okay, so that's all there is to it. You can manipulate the equation anyway to solve for any one of those three letters, mass, density, or volume. All you have to do is get that variable by itself, plug in the numbers, and you're done.